Hello Village Donors! Today I'm going to walk you through how to donate to your village using the village site. Now the first thing I would like to ask of you is if you are a member or a donor, please first sign in before making your donation. You can sign in right here at the upper right hand corner. That way, if you sign in first, we will be sure to match your name and your record with the donation you made. If you do not sign in, please use the email address that your village has on record for you so that we can associate your donation with you. Okay, now if you are not associated with the village, but you would still like to donate to this village, go to the main screen of the village like I am here and then towards the upper right click on donate now. We're going to scroll down a bit. Here we can read about donations to our village. So you can choose the amount that you would like to donate. You can put in a custom amount by clicking other amount or clicking in this box. So I would like to donate $75. If you would like to donate once a month, click make this a monthly donation. If you are making this donation as an organization, please check institutional donation and type in your organization's name. Now, I'm going to enter Now, I'm going to enter my first name my last name, my email. I would check I don't have an email address if I didn't have an email address. And then I am going to put in my street number. So I complete my address, then I choose which fundraising campaign I would like to donate to. I would like to donate to the scholarship fund to help more people become members. If I had comments, I would write them in this box here. Uh, this is optional if I would like my name to appear different in the record than my actual name. You can make a contribution in memory of or in honor of. And then you can put whose name it is that it is in honor or memory of. If my employer was matching this donation, I would check this box. And then I would fill out all this information about my employer so that they could match it. A very important aspect, I accept the village terms and privacy policy. You always want to make sure this is checked before you hit pay with credit card. And again, I'm going to go back up and I would like to mention again that please make sure your email matches the email that the village has on record of you if the village has record of you. If you are a member or a volunteer, please log in first before you make this. We like to have the donations match up with existing records. Now, let's pay with credit card. The nice thing about this is that you don't have to leave the site. You stay on your village's site to pay. You input your credit card number, your expiration date and your CVC code, and then you press pay. 
you'll see that it is processing. You give it a moment. And then you see that you successfully donated to your village. You always want to look for the successful donation. Now, thank you for watching this video. This is how you make a donation to your village through the village site. Remember, if you're a member or a volunteer, please sign in. And if the village already knows you, make sure that you use the email they have on record for you. Thank you so much for watching.